Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. In this demonstration, I'm going to teach you how to code in GUI. And it's really not that hard. And by the end of the demo, you'll understand how to create a GUI like this and make the buttons do... Uh, when you click the button, it executes a function. Or when you click the button, you get another pop-up. And this one right here, I got it set to not be able to resize. It's pretty cool. So let's go over... We'll start from the top. We have to import the following modules here from TK import TK enter import star for all OS sys and socket. We're using these because this is a client server kind of application. And let's scroll down to the bottom. I need to organize this code. The first thing you're gonna need in your this for this application is the following. Go ahead and get rid of this. Comments. Okay, so root is the name of our window. Right. So we do uh, the window name equals tk for tk enter, which is our GUI module in Python. And then you notice here we have root dot, root dot, root dot. We're setting up the dimensions and stuff for our GUI window over here. Title is obvious, software title here, and then that shows up up here. And then root.configure background equals, these are HTML color codes, and you can get them from htmlcolorcodes.com. You just click on the shade you want, it gives you this code, uh, pound sign, six digits. <laughs> Pick out the exact shade you want, and then you can plug that in here. And then we got root.geometry. 500 by 700, this particular window is 500 by 700. <coughs> app, people, <coughs> app equals app root. And then if you'll notice down here towards the bottom where it says welcome to my app coded by Scott, and then it's got this hinted little shebang like type deal prop thing. That's all this right here. So we're going to talk about labels, and uh, <clears throat> go ahead and jump right in. Label has to be capitalized. You put the window name, and remember the window name is we assigned up here, and it's root. Then the text, welcome to my app. Background color, just in case it's black on purple. And then the font, if you choose a font. And that just puts a label on your box. And don't forget this down here. Now let's scroll up and look at how we did the buttons. And the buttons are not hard at all. Like for example, see this function right here? Define write slogan. When we click the right button, it's going to run that function. So we're using these buttons like buttons on a remote, and when you click it, the function is executed. So let's scroll up and look at how that's done. And then I'll show you how we open a new window from a button, too. Okay, so we have to make a class, class app, and if you'll notice down here at the bottom, we got app equals app root. We're connecting this to all this up here. Okay, so we make the frame. Frame equals frame master. Uh, frame dot pack. Frame dot configure background. We give it a black background. And here's the buttons. Notice the self in here. Now I'm not completely familiar with self, but that's something I'm gonna have to learn. But I'll do it tutorial on that once it's I have a full grasp on it we do self dot button equals button and then we put the frame name in here and of course we assign that up here and then we put the text for example quit that's this button right here so this that you're seeing right here represents this quit button Let's go down to one, 
that uh, here we go send email self dot button dot pack self dot slogan equals button put the frame name in the text in this case it's send email the background color the foreground color the font and then command will be self dot and then this right here is the function name right so when we click that button it's going to run the function send email and let's go down to the send email function and of course you're going to leave out the brackets this time so when we click that button boom it executes the send email function and, and what that does is we make a new window just like we did before we give it a title we can even make it non resizable like if we try to stretch this window out it won't do it because we've set width and faults to f width and height to false it's not resizable we set the size in this case it's 181 wide 625 tall and then self dot new window equals send mail and the name of this window is send mail send mail equals frame send mail configure we give it a background color bam now if you notice here we scroll down we got our labels right here SMTP server that's kinda like what we did over here with welcome to my app same thing background color foreground color font boom we've done it actually this is the label now this right here pretty sure is this text box so it's pretty straightforward now let's say let's go down to quit if we want to make a button that closes this window or this window we just do self dot new window dot destroy and that will close out of it Let's open up the terminal in which we ran this program and, and show you a little bit more. So let's see. Let's pick out one. Right slogan. Right now, this is pretty much just, you know, it's not finished. So just as a demonstration, I got it set up where if I click screen capture it prints TK enter is easy to use just to show you that when I click that screen capture button it goes down here and it runs this function right here and so you can assign a function to a button and, and that makes it really easy like once you get one of these in here one of these buttons in here you can just cut and paste you know, change the text, plug in the command, uh, which is just really just the uh, the function that you're going to execute, right? You put the function in here, command equals self dot function, and it's that simple. Now, in another demo, we'll go over how to get this text data, plug it into a variable, but right now, I'm, what I'm I'm preferring to to do is to have a configuration files and then I just pull the data out of the configuration files and you can issue a command in here where you like click a button and uh, the configuration file pops up in a nano editor I like to do that better I've always had a thing for configuration files um, but we'll go over that in another uh, tutorial I'll put a link at the end of this video to how you do the configuration file thing and with the click of a button you can just grab the data from that file and when you want to set your settings you just plug them in that file but this you know it's really not as, as, as difficult as you would think you know you can just take your what the code that you already have and add the buttons and the buttons run the functions and you can easily we'll go over more of this in another tutorial you can easily like take the data from a variable and put it on your GY box here and stuff like that no problem so I'm gonna leave this code up here for a second so you can you know
you know, you can pause it and write it down. When we click this send email button, we plug this command in here, which is this function. And voila, these, this right here creates this window that we're seeing right here. And you can do that all day, all night, as much as you want. And uh, remember, we have labels. And we have buttons. These are the labels. These are the buttons. <laughs> no, sorry, that's obvious. But it, you can pause the video over these and, and just write these down. Uh, pretty self explanatory. Here we have a button. When it clicks, you click the button, it closes the window. Here we have a button. When you click the button, it runs the test script function. So I think I've demonstrated enough in here for you to get started doing GUIs. Um, you can easily pause the video, uh, write this down. I could just put the source code in there, but I mean, if you really want to learn Python and you want to learn programming, you need you're going to have to type all this out anyway. It would, it would really benefit you more to just sit down and write it out. Like I have notebooks full of notes, and I like to write everything out and use highlighter, and type everything out from from scratch. It's a lot more satisfying that way. You get to learn it and memorize it a lot quicker and easier and more solid that way. So until next time, I'm Scott with another computer programming tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment with any questions, suggestions, etc. And as always, peace out.